Okay, here is uh, part two. So perhaps you want to go ahead and, and hit pause and you can go ahead and write these problems down. Actually, I'll read them first and then that way you can kind of see uh, what the wording is here in case there's a glare. In an ambush, a gray wolf must strike its prey with 715 kilograms per meter per second to knock the prey off balance. If the wolf moves at 3.90 meters per second squared with a mass of 55 kilograms from rest in 3.75 seconds, is the wolf successful? Okay, so in this case, it has to have this much momentum. We don't know what the momentum of of that wolf is yet. We've got the variables for it. We just need to solve to see if this hunt is going to be successful. And then in the bottom problem, what is the momentum of a hippo as it moves at 2.15 meters per second, changes direction, and in 1.10 seconds moves at 3.14 meters per second squared with its 1,170 kilogram mass. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit pause now so you can go ahead and work on those problems. All right, so with this information, again, what we want you to, do to have accomplished by now is write, writing down the information that you know. And in this case, okay, we have the wolf moves at 3.90 meters per second squared. So that is something significant, and since it's meters per second squared, that is an acceleration. Okay, what else does it say in the problem? Well, it has a mass of 55 kilograms. Okay, now it doesn't give you this value, but it's saying from rest. So we can use our intuition here and say that that is moving or is not moving. I was going to say zero meters per second or saying zero or that's what the value is because it's from rest. So our initial velocity is zero meters per second. Okay, remember we need to see if it has this much of a momentum. And then finally, well, what two things do we need to know to solve for momentum? And that is mass and velocity. We've got the mass, but we don't have this velocity, but we've got one more variable, which is time, 3.75 seconds, okay? So now, once you have this information wrote down, we can go ahead and solve for that final velocity to determine if that's enough with this gray wolf's mass to knock that prey off balance. So in this case, then we want to do what the formula tells you to do. We have our acceleration of 3.90 equals, we're just going to put VF up here because again, any uh, uh, value taking zero from a variable or a number is just going to give, give you the same number or variable. And then put that over, 3.75 seconds. So our final velocity then is what we would get by multiplying these two. Again, how do we know we're multiplying? Well, we're putting this value over one. So VF cross multiplying, there it is, taking whatever that cross multiplication is. So 3.9 times 3.75 gives us 14.63 meters per second. That's part one. So now we've got our final velocity and we've got our mass over here. Is this momentum more than 715? And we want to perhaps calculate how much over or short is that. We just don't want to say yes or no. You need to be able to show that yes, it is enough, or no, it is not. So in this case, what we have here is our momentum equals 55 times 14.63. So therefore, our momentum then is 
804.65, 804.65 kilograms dash meter over seconds. So that is more than enough of what the 715 threshold was. So yes, this hunt would be successful. So again, when you solve these, we just don't want you to write yes or no. We want you to be able to illustrate how and why. And that's what this problem would then illustrate. Okay, then our next problem, as we see here, it says, what is the momentum of a hippo as it moves from 2.15 meters per second, changes direction, and in 1.10 seconds, moves at 3.14 meters per second squared with its 1,170 kilogram mass. Okay, so again, Please write down the information, information that you know so you can solve for these problems, okay? So we see it moves at 2.15 meters per second. So since it's meters per second, we know that that is a velocity. But what it's saying is that it's change in direction and anytime we know that it's change in direction, it's gonna be acceleration, so that means 1.10 seconds later, it was moving at this. So what that means, it's got a second speed that it went to this acceleration of 3.14, therefore making this an initial velocity. And then what we have, and then what we have here is we need to solve for our final velocity because we have this acceleration. 3.14 meters per second squared. And we've got this time of 1.10 seconds, okay? And again, what is the momentum? We need to know the mass and we need to know the velocity. Well, we have this velocity, but it's the initial one. We know that because it's saying that it changes direction and then in 1.10 seconds moves to this speed. So we don't know what that final velocity was, but we've got the mass here, and we are just one step away from solving that, okay? So here again, we need to find this final velocity, but we've got an acceleration. We've got 3.14 equals our final velocity divided by what our time was. And in this case, we look at 1.10 seconds. Okay, so therefore our final velocity, 1.10 times 3.14, and that gives us 3.45 meters per second. That is our final velocity. Okay, and then now that we have that with our mass, we can solve for our momentum. Do what the formula tells you to do. So we've got 1170 times what we just calculated at 3.45. So our momentum equals, okay, 3.45 times 1170, and we get 4306.50. Four thousand thirty-six, excuse me. Point five zero kilograms dash meter over second. And there is our answer. All right. So that is our second set of problems for this. Okay. And and I think that we've hopefully have seen this enough for those of you who are doing very well in here. You're writing the information down. You're looking to see what the question is asking and then showing your work and then labeling your answer. 4,036.50 4, kilograms per meter over second. Okay, so next we'll go ahead and put this next set on here. Okay, so to wrap this up, okay, 
couple of bonus questions that we will give you for this as well. Bonus one. In the early days of the show Saturday Night Live, this is probably back in the 70s, in the early days of Saturday Night Live, Steve Martin was in a skit singing about King what? Okay, so in this case, in this skit, Steve Martin on Saturday Night Live was singing about King blank. Bonus two, what was the name of the character? Not the real guy's name, not the name that he actually, his real name, but on the show, the character, character on Happy Days. What was the name of the character that rode a motorcycle on the show Happy Days? His name or his character name was blank. Okay, and if you choose, this is a choice. You don't have to do this. Um, it's entirely up to you. So that's all I have. I'll explain this um, tomorrow and we will see you on your exam on Friday.